I'm picking things up out in the shed. Um, this is Tuesday, I think. Yeah, it's Tuesday. Uh, kind of hard to keep track anymore. Uh, I was really kind of down yesterday. Um, kind of a combination of physical exhaustion and depression hitting at the same time. And I was pretty much not wanting to do anything. So today got a little bit more energy and uh, the weather is really nice. So I want to do some more attacking of the shed and see what we can do. Uh, I've got this side, I've got these shelves. I think I want to do the shelves first, uh, mostly because if I empty the shelves, I can put them in the tent and we can use that for storage for the estate sale stuff. Um, there's also, I'm having to go through a sorting process because not all the things in here are good for estate sale. Some of them are better garage sale. Some of them are better just given away. Uh, <laughs> the dogs are healthy, as usual. Uh, I guess I'm to get to it. I think I'm done for the night. Uh, quick look in here. Uh, let's see if we can get it. If it'll. So I got these two shelves, double shelves, cleared out. Uh, they're still tied up over there, but I can cut those later. That's enough for one night. Well, it's another day and I'm back out in the shed. Uh, I was starting to edit the footage from earlier and I saw that difference from when I started going into it until I was done with it a couple of hours later. And uh, it really kind of hit home how uh, how difficult this is. It's not really difficult because there's so much stuff. It's more difficult because a lot of the stuff has emotional attachment. Uh, it's, it's family stuff. And some of it's really hard to go through. So I'm back at it. I'm gonna keep going with it for, you know, as long as I can. Uh, I'm not gonna get this finished by the time the dumpster has to go, but the dumpster's pretty, pretty full already. I'm not too worried about it. There's there's still room, but honestly, I'm glad that I got the three yard instead of the two yard because there's a lot of crap. All right, gonna get back to it. Okay, um, well, I got the, the metal, the hanging bars down. Uh, I still didn't get these shelves out yet. Uh, they can come out pretty soon, but that stuff is really awkward and heavy. So mostly, I've been working on this set of shelves. And I made it, I don't know, quite a ways. There's still all this stuff over in the corner. Uh, yes, indeed, that is a set of drawers, and I think those are workshop drawers. I don't know if my dad made those or if he bought them. I think he might have made them, but I'm not sure. Um, this is getting into a lot of tools and um, tools and odd bits. There's, I don't know, there's a slide up there. And, 
these bushel baskets. I think the bushel baskets are probably going to go in the estate sale. There is this honking aluminum box here that is, I don't know what's in that. Oh, empty box. Uh, there's some other stuff here. This looks like some planters. Uh, some of this stuff is wheat paste, pure wheat paste. Yeah, that's going to get tossed. Uh, don't know what's in these boxes yet, but I am stopping for the night because the dogs are driving me up a tree. Um, this is kind of interesting. This is a, a canoe portage wheel. You can strap this on the canoe and you could um, move it around. It would make it a lot easier to take on trails and things like that. I know that this is something that he had made. He didn't weld it himself because, you know, welding aluminum is kind of difficult. Uh, don't know what's in this, but it's heavy and difficult to get to. There are bolts of fabric up here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those. Um, if they're any good, I'll have to check them. I'm not going to get through this by tomorrow, um, but it's going to make it pretty good. There's still all this stuff over here. I don't know what all is in here. Good cases. I think there may be pictures. Uh, well, do it as I can. The three cubic yard dumpster is getting fairly full. Um, I'm glad we got the three yard, not the two yard. I think two yard would be full by now, but there's, I don't know, it's pretty close. There's enough room left to take care of what else I'm gonna be able put, to put in there, I think. The tent has stuff in it that is definitely for the estate sale. Um, <laughs> the wet banana. The uh, super slippery water slide that's shaped like a banana. You hook it up to your garden hose and then slide. Yeah. Rock tumbler kit, that was pretty cool. Uh, engine block heater that runs on propane. Full croquet set. Uh, some other stuff here. There's some weird antique stuff. Uh, ancient toolbox, tools in it. Um, I want to look through that and see if there's anything I want to keep. I, this might just go as is, but there are <sighs> there are tools in there that I want to check on. This has some pictures in it. This, though, was a cool find. This is a stereo viewer. And there are the cards with it from 1925. That's pretty cool. And I'm not sure if this goes with it or not. It is full of these attachments. And there is an instruction set here that is in not very good shape. So I am going to want to have a look at this later. I don't know if that goes with this or if it's something entirely different but I'll have to look at that later. Uh, all this stuff in here is uh, some World War II stuff that uh, Dad, you know, was leftovers from the Army. I'm not entirely sure what they are. It looks like some rucksacks and things like that. Uh, again, I don't know. I'm trying to do triage at this point, so uh, just sorting it. Uh, down in that box on the bottom, that white box right there, is an inflatable life raft, an inflatable rubber raft. Uh, I'm going to want to take that out and clean it and possibly try it out because that would be kind of neat. All right, it is 8 o'clock on Sunday night and I am 
gonna call it uh, not done made good progress there's still stuff that I need to get to but uh, I would say overall I think it's pretty good all this stuff uh, I need to go through yet uh, this is going to be keep for estate sale or garage sale uh, the tools in here need to go through but again that's all tools uh, there's uh, mattress mattress up there and a box spring behind it uh, there's also a bed <laughs> in there somewhere uh, the chairs and that table are going to come down that desk and this dresser are a matched set along with a dresser downstairs uh, this whoop this stuff I still have to go through this Vuvuzela. I mean, uh, some of this is probably trash, but I don't need to deal with it right now. Uh, the lights are going to be installed in here once I get to that point. Uh, this stuff is still all stuff I need to get to. I did get all this stuff on these sides pretty much sorted. Um, I didn't really deal with this stuff because this is all bolts nuts hardware, uh, there's paint there, um, and those are all, I have to deal with those separately. Um, I did get to this, uh, and yes, this is what my dad made, and it's got stuff in it. <clears throat> So it's tools mostly, uh, but <clears throat> I haven't dug into it. Uh, Dad's old army footlocker from World War II. I have not looked in there yet. Um, I, it's I don't think it's World War II stuff. Uh, there's some more chemical stuff in there that has to. I have to go through again those are things that need to get dealt with separately uh, saws tools materials not sure what's in those those two yet haven't looked there and in here there look to be sleeping bags camping materials uh, extension paddle and things like that so I'll have to get a better look at that later. Uh, stuff up here, I have no idea. Oh, ice cream maker. Uh, ribbons and bows could probably go. But all in all, the space is almost entirely open again. Uh, there is still, of course, the stuff up there. But, you know, there's only so much that I can do probably should get that carpet down. I don't know. I'll, prob I'll keep that for now in case there's any repair that we need to make in the uh, in the bedrooms. <sighs> but yeah. Enough for tonight. I am exhausted. My legs ache. I can barely stand right now. Uh, this is all chemical stuff that I need to deal with. Uh, there's my oil cans there, and spackle and uh, plaster Paris and stuff like that. I don't know if that's any good. Uh, some stuff here that needs to be sorted that isn't isn't like stuff to throw away. Uh, there's some scrap metal here, uh, some other metal back there that's not entirely scrap. That's actually useful. There's like copper in there and everything. A uh, whole bunch of propane tanks, mostly. Most of them still have uh, quite a bit left in. That's that portage wheel I was talking about, the whole, uh, the whole thing together. More stuff in the shed, or in the tent. More stuff in the dumpster. Yeah, that's pretty, getting pretty full. I uh, did find more toolboxes with some tools in them. Uh, 
didn't really find anything of of note along the way. Found some Baraxo, some hand soap. <laughs> um, yeah, nuts and bolts, things like that. It's just I don't want to deal with those right now because they're extremely heavy. And of course, yet another key to I don't know what. A couple of padlocks, which these keys do not fit. Some of the other keys might. Uh, that one's pretty much, I, yeah, I know that kind of lock. I think this was my old bike lock. Uh, don't know about this one. I think that may have been for uh, fuel containers for the airplane when that was a thing. There are a couple of outboard motors here. Uh, I have, there's a little two horse trolling motor and this one I think is a five and a half. Uh, I have no idea if they run. I'm guessing that they haven't been, they, they haven't been run for probably 20 years or more. Uh, so, you know, there would have to be some work done on them to get them running. Uh, I don't know that I am the right person to do that. I don't think I am. The dogs have pretty much had a blast today. They've been outside almost the entire time and with all the delving into uh, delving into things we scared up some chipmunks so they were chasing after chipmunks for most of the day. Never caught them but because uh, the chipmunks were hiding under things that were inaccessible for the dogs but boy they tried. Uh, we played some today. Not a lot, but it was, I think, more than we have for a while, so it was kind of nice. Uh, it was a really nice day. It was pretty windy this morning, uh, but, you know, the rest of it is, it's calmed down quite a bit. It's a little on the cool side, but uh, lots of cardboard, lots of stuff to uh, deal with that doesn't go in the dumpster. Um, yeah, the whole the whole tent is. I'm gonna have to go through all that stuff. Well, not all of it. And most of the stuff that's in the back on the back wall has already been uh, set aside for the estate sale. Uh, the stuff on the shelves is probably gonna go in the estate sale, but I need to go through some of it. All the stuff that is on this side uh, is stuff that I need to go through and, and sort and separate because there's jumbles of things in boxes. But I I have to stop. It's I am physically exhausted. I'm actually emotionally doing okay. But my legs are starting to shake at this point. So I'm going to stop. Um, I'm going to go in and play with the dogs a little bit and sit down and not do anything for a while. I should probably shut all the doors and things, but uh, other than that, <sighs> till next time, see you guys.